everyone welcome back to our channel in this video you'll see us go from compass key all the way to staniel key and do lots of fun things and exploring in between so stay tuned hello everyone okay we just made it into compass key we just went through our first kind of like tricky channel and did some really good visual navigation <laughs> But uh, we made it and we have a five foot draft. And we are anchored here. So this is where all the sharkies are. The um, sharks. Where you see the famous nurse shark photo swimming just by the marina. Rock over here. Um, yeah, just behind this rock is the marina. You can see some masts. We're going to go dive on the anchor Woo! and then go swim with some sharkies. So let's show them here. On Navionics, it shows it gets pretty shallow if you come from this, I think, conch cut, yeah. And then it shows it gets pretty shallow here where the channel starts. We never saw less than seven feet through there. I was looking at the Explorer charts and it said it was okay. Came all the way through here, down to right here, and we've been just fine so far. Which, like, we did come in at high tide, so I'm sure at low tide it probably would have gone down to five or six. Um, so just be aware. Be aware. All right, Zola fam, banner has something to say. So we're in Compass Key now, as y'all know. When I was in high school, my sophomore year, so I don't know, 2013, 2014, I saw this picture on Instagram of this girl with nurse sharks all around her. And I was like, wow, like it, it just like hit me. I was like, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. I did some research, found out it was here at Compass Key. So for the past, what is that, eight, nine years? I've literally been dying to come here. My original plan was to come here a lot sooner and have this be like my first shark experience and then like slowly build up, but it didn't work out that way. The first one was with whale sharks and then bull sharks and all other pelagic sharks and all sorts of crazy stuff from there, but we're finally getting to do it. It's a good day. Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> We didn't know where a dinghy dock was, so we just uh, beached the dinghy. We do see where everybody is at. So it's in that little thing. So we're gonna head over there. Banner is in heaven. We've made it. How is it, babe? Amazing. Amazing. So many. Look at this little guy. Come here. He's so cute. <laughs> All right, so we just got back to the boat from the Sharkies. We decided to just go ahead and head out today. It's high tide, um, and we have to go through the sketchy channel to get out. Uh, Jokey cut. Um, it's pretty shallow, but right now at high tide, we think we can make it out pretty easy. I drug, I'm about to drive behind the dinghy to make sure. Um, and then if it's fine, we're just gonna head out. We're sitting in about 23 feet of water right now, so that's a lot of chain to be letting out at night. And we want groceries. And we want groceries. All right, Banner's getting out his poles again. We went and swam with the little nurse sharks. It was $10 a person to land there. Uh, and there wasn't really much there. All the snacks were $4 a piece. And, and it was honestly great, but if you've never swam with nurse sharks or sharks at all, Highly recommend, it's amazing. But if you've already swam with like nurse sharks a lot, then just a few more nurse sharks. It wasn't like what I've seen in photos and stuff. There was like as many people in the water as there was sharks, so. And I'm sure that when they're feeding and like throwing stuff in the water, it's probably like amazing, but they weren't feeding or anything. So they were all sitting under the dock. But we'll show you guys photos anyways, but we are now headed to Staniel Key. They have grocery stores there and we are gonna get pick up our GoPro. They think we're gonna hang in Staniel for a good bit. Uh, there is a storm coming this weekend or some high winds. Um, so I think we'll be safer there. 
and it'll just be more comfortable because we have places to go. Uh, but other than that, oh, getting out of Compass, we took a different channel and it was tight. How low did we get? Uh, about 6.2, I think was the lowest I saw. Okay, and we're at like right at high tide coming out. Um, it was tight, but it was doable. Definitely, definitely visual navigation needed. We went through, was it Kong? Or Joe Key Cut? Yeah, Joe Key Cut. Yep. I just thought it was better than the other one. It was a lot quicker. If you're going to, if you want to go to what Anchorage is that? The Pipe, Pipe Key East. If you want to go there, it's a lot, a lot quicker to go through the Joe Key Cut. But I wouldn't do it if your draft's any bigger than five. He came in one way and went out the other way, and we made it, so it's possible. Uh, definitely get the Explorer charts though, because it looks impossible with Navionics. Uh, anyways, see you in Staniel. We made it to Staniel Key. Welcome, this, guys. <laughs> this is our friend Eric. Woo! He actually like lives here, yeah. kind of, and works here. Um, All the water in the Exumas is brought to you by this man right here. Eric. We came into this little anchorage. I don't know if you can see Zola out there. Yeah, uh, tell them what happened, babe. <sighs> the tides, or the <laughs> charts looked like we shouldn't come in here, but we we're like, oh, we've been here. Like, we can make it, not a big deal. It was bad. We touched bottom coming in. No, we didn't bottom. touch bottom. We hit bottom. <laughs> we scraped the rocks on the bottom. But the current was absolutely crazy. We were, at one point I had 2,000 RPMs and we were like either dead stop or moving backwards a little bit. It was You're rough. To see. <laughs> it was rough. We made it. Though. But we made it and it's beautiful and we're gonna go celebrate at the Staniel Key. Yeah, Club, baby. Woo it's gonna be a good night. Okay. So honestly, at the Yacht Club, the Nurse Sharks are way better than at Compass Key. So if you're here, highly recommend jumping in. There are no signs saying not to, so we did and it was incredible. After a few drinks at the club that night, we went on a dock walk and happened to meet a few really cool people. And of course, Nelly happened her way onto one of the larger yachts to do some karaoke. Howdy. We are in Daniel Key. Uh, we have access to a golf cart here, and that's how everybody gets around. Woo! Hey, the trash is gonna fly out. Are you crazy? But we have tons of trash that we haven't been able to haven't been able to throw out. About two months. Yeah. Uh, a month. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know where to go. We don't know where we are. Um, anyways, this is fun, and we're gonna go get some groceries because we don't have any food. Goodbye. All right. To a lost land. <laughs> We're in Wally. Um, this is the dump. This is where you take all your trash. There's literally just shit everywhere. But that, oh my god, it looks like there's a fire right there. This is fascinating. All right, can we try for shit? Yeah. Oh, I guess they burn it. That makes sense. Okay, so the cool thing about me having a pilot background is that my buddies give us free air shows every few days in the Bahamas. Hello, friends and family. We're here in Staniel Key, it's the year 2021. <laughs> Oh, we've had a great few days in Staniel. I'm sure you'll see some clips. We haven't been vlogging that much, but we're gonna do better today. We have a GoPro now, so you can see the underwater footage. I'm really sad we don't have it set up right now because Nelly was just dragging me around here looking for dangerous spots in this anchorage. I saw big stingrays, I saw tons of fish, two sea turtles. It would've been so cool. But anyways, we're gonna get the GoPro set up so we always have underwater footage. But we just reset our anchor because we were actually wrapped around a rock on our chain and we were worried that was going to either damage the chain or the rock was going to break. And if you see there, we have uh, our friends above. But anyway, um, we think we're pretty good. We have about 120 feet of chain. Our only 
scary areas, those dark spots back there. But they're just, I think if we go, I think if we swing that way, our keel is literally gonna be like scraping it. But it's just sand with some grass on it, it's not rock. It's been a lot of work trying to make sure this is okay. This is not an ideal anchorage. So don't come here. Don't come here. It's beautiful, but there's so many better options. So we're gonna, we only did it because our friends are here. We're gonna stay here maybe one more, one or two more nights and then we're gonna go to a more ideal anchorage. If anyone has seen a mahi about this big with a blue lure in its mouth, it's mine. <laughs> and Nelly stole it from me. <laughs> you see a mahi with this, it's mine. <laughs> So if you guys can see this rock here and then this tiny little speck here, that is a big old rock that gets covered during high tide. We coming in came through this little area here. You have to hug this rock if like you, you gotta get so close to this rock that you that think it's you're scary. Gonna... And then you come through. It's so shallow right here, which is where we hit bottom. But you just come right through, and here we are. But don't come here. <laughs> don't do it. It's not worth it. We are out on the dinghy. Um, the boys, Banner and Eric. Did you get anything? <laughs> are spear fishing, and then we're gonna go dive the Thunderball Grotto, which is like a cave, um, a little north of Staniel, I think. But it's only about two miles, so we're gonna dinghy there. All right, Nelly, you wanna tell everybody what just happened? Yes, so we just had dinner. Well, we kind of hosted dinner. I speared my first fish today. I speared a couple, but I lost them. Today, I finally got one. Got. I made this whole bowl. This is a giant bowl. Whole bowl of ceviche. And Everyone this just absolutely loved it. He didn't even have a recipe. He just made it all out of the... I don't even know what- Thin air. Thin air. <laughs> That's crap, I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty proud. Earlier today, our friends Dan and Tally flew in and brought us a bunch of groceries from the States, which we appreciated so, so much. Uh, but later that day, we decided to go and have some fun and do some adventuring. Hello, Ramona. I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the gold. Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know Absolute pink heaven. She's got one. My motherly capabilities. She's got one on every side of her sleeping. Look at this <laughs> Hello, Ramona. I mistook you for me. Oh, there's another one coming from the back side. Look at all these little babies. I guess you always seem to know me. That is a miniature Hello, baby. What do you think, Ellie? I push back the serious ease The ends unknown To get back the life I used to know hey. We are at the... I don't know if, I don't think we told you guys already, but Dan flew in. Dan and Tally flew in today. They're gonna stay with us tonight. Wow, look at this. Ooh. Thank you, sir. the Yacht Club. Anyway, Dan flew in today with his girlfriend Tally. They're gonna stay with us tonight. We just went and played with the pigs. One of them freaking got me. <laughs> All right, y'all. Can we just take a 
second to appreciate how clear this water is. Wow. We're in about, I think this is 12 to 15 feet of water right here. I can see Reese's in front of my face. Dan came and brought us a bunch Dan of groceries. Dan brought us a bunch of groceries. A bunch of Reese's. Look how beautiful this is. We have a nice sunset. So we got this beautiful sunset. We got this beautiful girl right here, a beautiful mermaid. This might give you all a better idea of how clear it is. So look at, look at our chain right here. You can see it all the way. Well, the ripples are kind of blocking it, but way out there I can still see the chain. And then you can see it going over that way. Which is where it's... And then I can see, it. it's hard to see in the video, but I can see the anchor about right there. It's just gorgeous. But not as gorgeous as her. There's my baby. I guess we couldn't see, somehow we couldn't 